In this video we show you a few areas in Ireland off the beaten track. While everyone and their grandmother seem to visit the Ring of Kerry, there is the lesser known Ring of Skellig right off the Ring of Kerry. And this is where Ireland gets really beautiful. The Ring of Skellig's roads are very narrow and the area can be very windy as you can see. These are two reasons why you will not see any tourist buses or coaches, as they say, in the area. In fact, these roads are not even permitted for buses, so this is the ideal area self-directed travelers will enjoy. There are these 50 shades of green that are so typical for Ireland and the other typically Irish views for the meadows and the white houses. And there are lots of scenic ocean views right off the road. The Skellig Islands, which give the Ring of Skellig its name, can be seen on the horizon, sometimes disappearing in the mist. If you venture onto even smaller roads, you find perfect spots to see the Skellig Islands and Puffin Island in front of them. Returning from the Ring of Skellig back onto the Ring of Kerry, you pass through typically Irish small towns with tea rooms and pubs for a nice break. Just across the bay to the north is Dingle Peninsula. The road is a little larger, but it offers great views of both the bay and Inch Beach.
the rapid change of the weather with sunny spells and misty weather and the resulting changes of light are what it's all about. Further inland and on the River Shannon it is much quieter, with Loch Dirk offering beautiful scenery and nice places to stop and just enjoy. <laughs> 